must be some useful supplies left over in this vault. We just need to keep searching. Fuck you, Callie. Hey guys, Boney McBoner. You know, yeah, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna monetize this video, anyways. Hey guys, Boney McBonerton here, and welcome back to Fallout 4. I know what you're thinking. Boney, what are you doing in this video right now? This video shouldn't exist. You've done everything in Fallout 4. Well, I thought so too, but like in every other possible facet of my life, I was wrong. Well, I was, um... Oh, yeah, we have... I forgot to mention, we have 21 levels, uh, level ups available. But, aside from that, while I was exploring the Commonwealth, or mainly this area, looking for people to kill and stuff, we actually discovered this area. Yeah, it turns out there was one area that I did not discover. But I think before we go to that area, let's get all these level ups out of the way. Now, what to spend these on? Well, let's see, first things first. You know, we figure out how to turn you cool. Something to think about. Yeah, but if we do that, you know I'm like... We'll eventually turn feral, you know that, right? Oh, here it is. Because I'm curious about it. Okay, I don't know why that stuff stacked up like that. Oh. Okay. I really hope the game just... Okay, we're fine. I thought the game soft-locked itself for a second there. God, there's a lot of tough choices here. I don't really know what to, uh, what to get. No, I, I actually don't know what to get. Uh, huh. Yeah, screw her. Nah, we're already, like, really set on ammo. Yeah, I think we're good for now. For now, let's get upgrading. Now then, let us go all the way up here to Medical Center Metro. Here we are. You can actually imagine my genuine shock when I'm just chilling over here, looking around for people to kill so I can level up. And I come across this door and some dandy boy apples to the medical center station and the game tells me, hey, you've never discovered this place before. Fuck what? Okay, those are gunshots. I thought those were like distant footsteps. I thought I was losing my mind. Okay, let's go in there and murder people. Ooh, you know what perk I should grab? The, uh, rapid reloader one. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's just a protectron in there. You know, I feel like if we go through these, we might trigger a trap, but I think I might just be being paranoid, you know? Tijuana. <laughs> what? No way. Up, 
kill was good. Duty. Sure. Gonna grab one of these two. You know, I gotta say, out of this, out of this entire Fallout 4 Let's Play, I'm glad that not a single one of my viewers threw a fit that I've been using a mod that makes lock picking a billion times easier. Because I think I talked about this before. But my philosophy is that when I first played Skyrim. Like, you could be level 1 and the game would be like, you know what, sure, fuck it. Go ahead and try- Oh, that's a bomb! The game really went, sure, go ahead. Try to pick a master chest. Like, if you can pick a master lock, sure, you can do it. But with the Fallout games, it's like, um, actually, you need to be like this certain skill. Ooh. Ooh! You need to be, like, level 1,000 bajillion 683 to do this. Oh my god. Wow, that's... Ac actually, you know what? Level that up further. Level that up way further. Yeah, you saw how fast we re reloaded, right? Ow! Look at that, that didn't even show up. That pistol did so little damage to us that there wasn't even a dent in our health bar. That That is wild. Then don't go in the water, five head. Watch your step over here. You might end up looking like me. To avoid delay, do not hold the door. Wait, what'd that dude say? I was not paying attention. Mixture. Zealous. Seaside. Essence. Improve. So I think we might definitely have some raiders out and about here. Mine. Oh, we can't even get in there, okay. Duct tape and bone saw. Oh gee, if only one of us had a flashlight on us, you geetus. Okay, it's just you. What, these? People are dead and missing their weapons. Was I here earlier? Yeah, their weapons are gone. Okay, except for this guy. He's got ammo. Could someone else have been here? Okay, this is like actually weirding me out a little. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. <laughs> ah, there we are. I was here! Mm, Hancock? It's me, Puppy Dog. I've come to give you a kiss. Mm, Hancock, 
Kiss me, boy. Kiss me. You're such a handsome looking fellow. Oh, Hancock, you're a free cold on the dust. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry you had to see that. I am really sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I think it's the fact that, like, my, the AC in my room is off and it's like a billion degrees. And I'm slowly but surely cooking to death in my room as I record this. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this clown? What? You, you're? How are you alive? No, no, hold on. I need to get. Hold on. Okay. Bosco came back to life apparently, without his teddy bear hat. But what? Okay, you know. What? Just to be sure. Just to be very sure. You know, just just to be really sure, like really, really sure. Let's just um, over here, bud. No, he's still solid. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Wow. <laughs> well, that did it. <laughs> no way. No way. Dude's entire body was being held together by a single tendon. That is unreal. Do you accept the radio? Nothing on the radio. Now folks, I'm sure you've all seen or heard about the latest issue of public occurrences. Some bold claims by our intrepid reporter. Your lunch choices for today are grilled cream and cheese or celery steak. Very serious implications. Wouldn't you agree? The mayor's office has, of course, issued a statement denying the validity of the article, saying all is well with the diamonds. The mayor himself insists that the fears raised <laughs> in the article are unfounded. Must be a rerun considering the mayor's dead. Well, never a dull moment here at Diamond City Radio. This one's a long time favorite of mine. It's way back home by Bob. Nope. Now then, how do we get out of here again? I don't remember. Starting next month with Sister Ida. No, seriously, how the heck do we get? Gotta be faster than that, silly. Chained on the other side. Okay, here's how we get out. Yeah, don't worry. We already cleared this place out like ages ago. There we go. God damn, that took like years. Oh. Oh, I forgot the homing mod. It's okay. I can make do. Like that.
Not what I not what I wanted. Not even close. Come on, Ain't alone. Come on. Oh. Ooh. I had to swing right out of the way because Hancock was going to get splattered. Huh. Ooh, wait, hold on. What's that? Who's this fellow with the aluminum can and the dirty water? And the razor green in his lunchbox. Or that. It's crazy. I don't even know what I got 48 XP for doing there. Well, literally. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Well, I think that's literally all we can do here. This has been Boney McBonington here with Fallout 4. In the next video, we uh, are going to be returning in October. To fill a little obligation to a little haunted house that we've always wanted to check out. Have a good day now and goodbye.